Hello everyone and welcome back to Cute Crochet. My name is Sri and in today's video I am going to show you how to make this beautiful crochet jewelry set. For the base of the earrings I use some plain hoop earrings and for the pendant I used a blank key ring. So these are all pretty commonly available. You will also need some crochet thread and some beads for the necklace if you want. So let's get started. I used the hoops from this old pair of earrings that I have and the dangly bits I used for another pair of earrings in my previous video. I'll put up a picture of it on the screen and I will leave a link to this video in the descriptions. For today's project, I am going to be using crochet threads and with it I am using a 1mm crochet hook. Start by making a slip knot. Then we are going to make single crochets into our hoop earring. For that, go in through the hoop and pull up a loop. You will have two loops on your hook like this. Yarn over and pull through two and that finishes our first single crochet. Push that single crochet to one side and then we are going to continue to make single crochets into the hoop. Insert your hook into the hoop and pull up a loop. Again you will have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two. Now continue to make as many single crochets that fit comfortably on the hoop. Just make sure that there are multiple of 4 plus 1. For example, here I made 29 single crochets which is 28 plus 1. Here I finished making 29 single crochets. This brings us to the end of row 1. Now for row 2, chain 3 to start and then turn your work. This chain 3 will act as your first double crochet. Then we are going to make a double crochet into the next stitch. So skip that first stitch and into the second stitch. Yarn over, go into that second stitch and pull up a loop. You will have 3 loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through 2. Yarn over, pull through 2 and that's one double crochet. Then chain 3, skip the next single crochet and then into the next single crochet make a double crochet. Then make a double crochet into the next two single crochets for a total of three double crochets. Then again chain 3, skip the next single crochet and double crochet into the next 3 single crochets and continue like this until the end of the row. Here I am almost at the end of the row, I have 3 more single crochets remaining. So chain 3 and then skipping the next single crochet, make 1 double crochet into the last 2 single crochets. This brings us to the end of row 2. Now for our third and final row, turn your work without chaining. Then into that first chain 3 space, we are going to make 7 double crochets.
then skipping the next double crochet make a single crochet into that second double crochet then in the next chain 3 space again make 7 double crochets Then slip stitch into the second double crochet and continue repeating like this all the way across this row. Here I finish making the 7 double crochets into the last chain 3 space. Then slip stitch on top of the third chain of the first chain 3 that we had made for row 2. And this brings us to the end of row 3. Then chain 1 and fasten off leaving a little bit of tail for weaving in. To weave in the ends I am using a smaller crochet. Just go in under a couple of loops on the back and then pull that tail through. We are going to repeat the same thing for the tail on the other side as well. Once your tail has been sufficiently woven in, you can go ahead and cut the excess. Now repeat the same thing for the other pair as well. For the pendant, I thought using a blank keyring would be just the perfect right size and shape. On here, I did the exact same steps as the earrings and I started with 49 single crochets which is also a multiple of 4 plus 1. Next, I am making a chain for the necklace. I am starting by making a button loop for the closure. For that, I am chaining 7. You will have to chain depending on how large your button is. Then slip stitch into the first chain to form a loop. Then make sure your button fits through the loop. Sure enough it does. Then we are going to make a long chain for the necklace. Hold the two tails like so and make the first few chains and then chain like normal. You can make as many chains as you want depending on how low you want your pendant to hang. I wanted my necklace to be pretty long. Here I finished making a long enough chain. Now I am going to cut the excess tail and fasten off leaving a long enough tail for sewing on a button. Next I am passing this chain through the jump ring of the keychain. Then I am going to tie a knot to make sure that the pendant doesn't move. I have quite a few of these rainbow thread beads lying around so I decided to use them. You can use any kinds of beads here or you can choose to avoid beads altogether. For the first bead I am passing both of the strands through it. This bead fits snugly over my jump ring so I pushed it all the way down. You don't have to do this. Then on each individual strand I am threading the beads in rainbow order.
Now I repeat the same thing for the other strand. Next I am sewing on a button on one end. This ended up being unnecessary for me because my necklace fit easily over my head. But if you are making a shorter necklace this will be necessary for you. In the end, tie a knot. Then weave that tail through the chain a couple of times. Then cut the excess tail. I also added a dab of fabric glue off camera to secure it. And that's it. I hope you guys like this video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.